DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're gonna to be doing a full body major muscles resistance band workout. So for this workout, we're gonna go through three groups of four exercises for two sets per group. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and in between the different groups, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going to go into is alternating reverse lunges. So, what we're going to do here, get some space back behind us, drop back, come up, switch sides. There we go. There we go. So, dropping back, coming up. Excuse the train. There we go, nice and easy here. I'm not letting my knee drop to the ground, but you can. Right, we got arm swings here. So coming forwards and backwards on this. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Toe touch kicks, here we go, and out, just like that. Keeping the back nice and straight, warming up the hamstrings, can't touch your toes, that's fine. Here we go, lateral lunges, dropping down, coming up, switching sides. Back nice and straight, weight in the heels as we drop down. Chest openers is next. One more here. Oh yeah, chest openers. There we go. Slipe in the elbows. Feeling the chest and the back stretch out here. Next we got good mornings. So slipe in. In the knees, kind of starting off in an RDL. Then we're gonna drop, stretch our lower back, come up, hamstrings again. Hamstrings down, lower back up, straighten the back, then come up. After this, 20 seconds before we get into our workout. There we go. We got depth squat coming up first. If you can't use a weight on this or don't want to, that's totally fine. So what we're gonna do, put the band up under left foot, right foot just barely drops back. So our knee is about six inches or less behind our uh, heel when we drop down on this. Here we go, so dropping straight down, explode up. Straight down, explode up. So the closer you get your knee to the heel, the more you're gonna begin to feel it in the quad. The further you drop the knee back, the more you'll start feeling it in the glutes. There we go. It's okay as you drop down to have your knee out over your toe. That's totally fine. There we go, switching sides. So I have my foot just off of my mat here. All right, right side, depth squat, dropping down. Explode. Dropping down. Explode. So slow controlled down and then explode up. Slow controlled down, explode up. Let's get one more here. Here we go, we're going into bent over rows, or actually we'll do seated rows for these. So what we're gonna do, take our bands, wrap them around our foot, and then what we're gonna do here is just row with just one side. So we're gonna hold on to both ends, and just row left side. Here we go. I'm gonna choke up as needed. 
palm facing towards the body, towards the leg, even over to the side is fine, towards our right side. There we go. We're just switching sides here. So, right side down. I'm just gonna put it on my right foot. Here we go. All right. Let's go back. Choke up as needed. Oh yeah. There we go. Keep that back nice and straight. Here we go. So from the side, let me actually turn this way. Right here. Bam. Bam. Kind of pulling in between the hips or waist and the belly button here. One more. Ah, here we go. All right, going into set two of this. So we got depth squat. Grab some water because we got 30 second extended break here. Uh, oh yeah, feeling good. All right, so left side again, band under the left foot. Choke up on the bands. Got a couple seconds, let's stand it up. And we're dropping straight down, explode. Straight down, explode. There we go. Come on. Push it out. You got it, come on. One more. Ah, whoo, good stuff right there. Switching sides. All right, here we go, stand it up. Drop down, explode. Drop down, explode. Oh yeah, loving it. Come on. Come on. It's supposed to be a struggle. Exercise is never supposed to be easy. Here we go. Back into seated rows here. So, wrapping the band. Get it where you want it. Make sure to wrap it completely around your foot like I am. Rolling with the left side here. Don't just kind of put it around the sole of your shoe and not actually loop it around the top. Because then if your heel or your toes kind of pull back towards you, that band's going to want to come off and smack you. So as you can see, I have it fully wrapped around. So no matter which way I pull it or move my foot, the band is not coming off. It's very important. Here we go, switching sides here. Right side, seated row. Here we go. Remember we're staying nice and tall. Nice straight back, chest out. Choke up as needed. That's one of the best things about the bands that we can alter our resistance so fast without having to pick up something else. Just by moving our hand or moving our feet, we can adjust that resistance really quick. Maximize our exercise. One more. Ah, there we go. All right. We got chest press or push-ups, whichever you prefer to do. We got 30 second break here. So get some water, wipe the sweat, and get ready. So for chest press, what we're gonna do, take the bands, put them around our back, nice and high into the armpits. And then I grab mine like this. So they come out under my palm. Then I hold them in between my index finger and thumb, push out. That way, the band, the resistance of the band is on my palm as I'm extending right here, not on that skin in between my thumb and index finger. Here we go. Bring them in, squeeze, back in. So we're just pushing straight out 
coming back. It should almost come to about the chin or mouth area right here. Not down here, it should be here. So you start here, come up here, there we go. We got shrugs coming up. So, for these, step on our bands, nice and wide, eat up a ton of the band. It's gonna increase that resistance. Here we go, holding up and down. I literally have like six to seven inches of band on each side when it's loose. Like even right here, there's so much tension on my bands. I never get loose. Oof. Bringing our shoulders up to the ears. Woo, yeah, coming back down. Oof. Oof. Here we go. Oof. Oof. One more. We got RDLs coming up. So slide into the knees, feet about six inches apart here. Slide into the knees, bending at the hips on this one. So as we come down, bending at the hips, butt sinks back, hand stays close to the legs, driving back up. Chest out, head up down here. As we come down, we don't look down. That's gonna wanna make our lower back bend. We don't want that. Here we go hex squats. I'm actually just gonna do this for hex squats. So feet about shoulder width apart. Here we go, choke up on your bands. Dropping straight down, coming up. Hands are just by the side here. Here we go. Nice and easy. Weight in the heels as we drop down. Chest out, head up. Making sure our knees do not buckle down or buckle in. We don't want to be going like that. Nope. As we drive up, the knees should stay out. One more. Here we go, back in, chest press for a 30 second break. Remember to be lifting heavy during this. This is strength training right here. Should we go nice and heavy? We got a little bit extended breaks, nice 30 second break. After every four exercises, allows you to push it, push a little harder. Here we go, five seconds, chest press or push ups. So pushing out, coming back. Pushing out, coming back. Here we go. Doing great, come on. Good quality reps here. Here we go. Ah. Shrugs. Let's get ready. Coming up, back down. Up, back down. If you need to adjust the resistance, so I'm making mine a little difficult. A little more difficult each time. Keep that head up. We don't want our head pulling down like that. Come on. Here we go, RDLs. Woo! Cruising through this thing. Got a nice pump going on. Just gotta keep pushing it. Here we go. Slide bend in the knees. Butt goes back. Hands stay close to the shins. When you're down here, kind of choke up on the bands. Drive back up. Come on. Now, one more time down. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. We got hex squats coming up here. 
So remember, feet about shoulder width apart on this. There we go. Dropping down, coming up. Dropping down, let me choke up, coming up. There we go. Chest out, head up, let's go. Come on. If it gets too tough, just drop your resistance. Keep going. That's the goal of every workout. Keep going. Don't give up. We got one more in us. Ah, here we go. All right, we're going in to seated high rows next. Nice, light resistance. So for the regular rows, I was using a 30 and 40 pound band. Now I'm just going to use a 30 pound band. For reference, you may or may not need a 30 pound band. So I just wanted to let you know I was using less than half the weight I was using. So for these, we're gonna pull just to our armpit right here. So just the left side, coming back, there we go. Nice and high, try to keep the elbow high too. There we go. You can work that mid back, a little bit of shoulders. The rear delts are gonna get pumped up here. Start to feel it. Oh yeah. So on this one, I actually like to put my band in between my index finger and middle finger. As you can see, ah, there we go. Switching sides. Ah, I'm just gonna take my glasses off. It's a little dark outside now. It's cloudy. Here we go, switching sides, right side, high row. Bringing it up. Again, I'm gonna put my band in between my index finger and middle finger. There we go. You come back, squeeze right here. Squeeze. There we go. Keep pushing. Oh yeah. I'm focusing on getting a nice pump right here. One more. Oh yeah. All right, we got incline chest press or pike push-ups here. So you could technically stay seated and do your incline chest press if you wanted. I'm not going to, I'm gonna stand up. So start off like regular uh, chest press, except we're gonna push to the top of our head. So pushing up, come down. Pushing up, come down, just like this. If you wanted to do pike push-ups, you could. So pike push-ups, you're going to be push-up position, except your butt's going to be nice and high in there. Back straight, drop down, chin touch, come back. Oof. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Oof. 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 There we go. All right, we're going to do static lunge, left side. So just on the left side, this set, and then right side, next set. So it's just one set for this we'll get a nice split stance right here dropping straight down straight back up left leg forward there we go let me kind of be here so i can see you guys well i believe i can see you guys just by looking into the camera come on there we go embrace the burn now Ah, we got one more in us. Ah, whoo, here we go. Back into high rows. The sweat is pouring in my eyes today. Here we go. My left eye is literally crying from the sweat in there. All right, here we go, high row. Make sure I got my bands right. Just the left side. Here we go, coming up. Squeeze, back down. Push it out, come on. Time you come back, squeeze the back. Feel it back there. Oof, one more. Ah, oh yeah. There we go. Switching sides, right side. 
Couple seconds. There we go, come back, squeeze, back down. And we're sitting nice and tall, back is straight. Let's go, come on. Incline chest press, pike push ups. Here we go. We got two more and we're done. Keep pushing through. You got this. Don't give up. So close. Here we go. Pushing up is coming up to our head here. Back down, up high. Back down. So this is a regular chest press. We are here, not here. There we go. Come on. Almost done. Oh yeah, Whew. all right, static lunge right side. So right leg is forward here. Nice big split stance going on. Here we go, a couple seconds. Let's go, drop it down, come up, drop it down. Come on, let's choke up on the bands just a little bit. This is our last one. Push it out. Try to just tap that knee to the ground. Push back up. Tap and go, tap and go. Ah, there we go. We got one more. Ah, there we go. Way to go today. Good inning right there. Way to push it. Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout. I know I sure did. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.